Is it dirty politics? The recount is underway, but there are new questions that are emerging about who pushed for this recount and who's paying for it. This is the closely watched race to replace the outgoing Congresswoman Anna Eshoo. The race ended in a tie for second place. Tonight, one of the candidates is pointing the finger at another, demanding he come clean. NBC Bay Area's Jocelyn Moran joins us with the exclusive story tonight. And Jocelyn, this is getting complicated and heated. Yeah, it certainly is. The checks are coming from a newly formed super PAC. It's called Count the Vote. Tonight, we got our hands on the official paperwork for that super PAC. It was signed by James Sutton, a name that also has ties to Sam Licardo. The first day of the recount is officially over. The second day is set to start tomorrow. As long as San Mateo and Santa Clara counties keep receiving these checks each day. But who is cutting them? Take a look at these $12,000 checks made out to Santa Clara County. They were sent by Count the Vote. A search of the Federal Election Commission website shows that's a super PAC just formed on April 9th by James Sutton. The address on the check the same address of a law firm once working with Sam Licardo. And then there's this. The man who ordered the recount, Jonathan Padilla, listed Sutton as an attorney who could take action on his behalf. Padilla worked on Licardo's mayoral campaign at one point. These revelations have Evan Lowe's team talking tonight. In a statement to NBC Bay Area, Lowe's campaign spokesperson says, given the revelation that a dark money super PAC was formed a few days ago to bankroll the recount, it's time for Sam Licardo to come clean. Sam desperately wants to avoid a three-way race and the public deserves to know what was offered to the PAC or its secret donors in return for funding this recount. But Sam Licardo's team continues to deny any involvement in the recount. When we reached out for a comment tonight, this is the statement we received. Quote, Sam Licardo believes that every vote should be counted and every voice should be heard. Licardo secured the top spot in the March primary. Lowe and Joe Simidian ended up in a dead tie for second. Before the recount was ordered, all three were set to face off again in November. So who stands to benefit from this recount? A political science expert is weighing in. This is a very unusual situation because the person who came in first in the primary actually has the strongest incentive to ask for a recount um, so that he can face off against one person in November instead of two. But she points out the request came from a voter. A voter who does have past ties to Sam Licardo, but a voter nonetheless, which is absolutely legal. Any voter in the district can request the recount. It's just very unusual. Santa Clara County's Registrar of Voters says the recount could take anywhere from one to two weeks. All right, and we're still trying to figure out the legalities with all of this. We reached out to both Santa Clara and San Mateo County Registrar of Voters. We did not immediately hear back. I also messaged Jonathan Padilla. I also did not hear back. Rush.